Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. So let me introduce you to Haggis Tools 1.13. Now I thought this actually deserved a point upgrade. And the reason being is I've added a lot more tools and I've kind of changed the interface a little bit. I wanted to make it a little bit sleeker, I wanted to make it a little bit more organised. Now, when it comes to the interface options, one of the users actually requested if they had the ability to toggle these elements on and off. And this is a great idea. So if we actually go to the interface options, you can see here I can toggle the quad view, these icons up here on the right hand side. I can also enable and disable things like the skip frame. And this means I'm not being as intrusive to the UI. You have a little bit more options when it comes to being customizable. And because I've actually implemented it in this manner, it means I can actually build a bigger toolbar later down the line. So let me introduce you to some of the new features. So let's say we select these objects, we can go to collection and we can move selected to a collection. What this does is it creates a collection called Haggis Collection and it moves all the objects into it. It's just a very quick way for selecting objects and moving into a collection. Now one of the users actually requested the ability to drop an empty unselected objects. Now if you have a good idea or even just a simple request, I'm more than happy to try and implement it, within reason obviously. So what we can do is we can select these objects, we can go to empty tools and we have a whole bunch of new empty options. So empty selected collection. So what this does is it drops down an empty on each of the objects and it puts the objects into a collection and automatically hides that collection. And this is great for doing things like instancing. We can now instance on top of these empties. For example, if I select these empties, what I can actually do is I can go to Haggis tools, add bones to selected and we get something like this. So let me quickly undo this and I'll show you some of the other cool features that I've implemented. So let's select these objects for example. I can go to Haggis tools and I can store selected and recall them at any time. So I'm going to store these selected and I'm going to move them about. And let's just say I'm working on something like this. And at any point I can actually recall the selection. And this is ideal if you're working with huge data sets or CAD data, something like this. It's just a very quick way to reselect the objects. Now, in the same manner, what we can actually do is we can go to Haggis Tools, Hide by Type. Now, I've added a whole bunch of options here. You can hide by mesh, hide by armature, stuff like this. But we can actually store and hide selected. So let's hide these. We can move things about, we can work on a scene, and at any point, we can actually bring these back by going Recall Hidden. And that's just a very quick way for hiding an object and bringing it back very quickly. So that's a whole new set of tools that I've actually implemented. So keeping along the theme of storing and recalling data, let's say we select the camera. What we can actually do is we can store the camera position, we can move it about, we can quickly rotate it, we can even scale it for example. And then at any point we can actually restore the camera. And this is good if you're doing product shots and you just need to move the camera and come back. Now I'm fully aware you can do things like keyframing. You also have an add-on that kind of handles this. But this is if you just want to quickly move in and out of the scene very quickly. So some of the additional tools in animation. Let's say we select these objects. We can actually go to animation tools and we can lock the location, rotation and scale on selected objects. We can also do it for the active object. So you can see here on the right hand side, we lock everything down and it just means we can't move it by mistake. And of course, you also have the lock selection. Pretty easy to be honest and another new feature that I've quickly implemented is the save copy and timestamp. So what this essentially does is it saves a copy of your blend file. It doesn't change anything with the working file, but it also adds a timestamp. So it adds a date and it adds a time. And it also remaps the relative and it compresses it so it keeps it nice and small for you. And it's a great way to do a quick backup to be honest. Now of course we also have all the additional tools. But another quick one is materials removed unused selected. So if you select a whole bunch of objects what you can do is you can actually remove the unused materials on these selected objects. Makes it a little bit quicker to do to be honest. So that is pretty much the updates for Haggis Tools 1.13. Next week I'm going to start doing documentation, the week after that I'm going to start working on modeling tools. I'm kind of juggling work at the same time at the moment so I do apologise. But it's been a lot of updates to be honest. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Please, if you want to support the channel, buy Haggis tools. Anyway, take care.